everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Claire. For today's vlog, we will have another unboxing video about my new handbag from Tory Burch, which is the T Monogram Jacquard shoulder bag. So, if you're interested and curious about this handbag, please keep on watching. <music> So this is the actual product. It actually came with a box. Tinagal ko na siya, in-box ko na siya para mas mabilis natin makita yung loob niya. Ito kasi it takes time kapag in-unbox ko pa siya kasama sa box. Pero this one. Ito siya. It comes with the Tory Burch paper bag. Ang ganda ng print nila, no? I love it. And then inside is the bag. Ito yung um, dust bag nila. Oh, this is very cute kasi it comes with the golden Tory Burch logo here. So, yan. Yeah. And then inside, ta-da! Ang ganda niya, di ba? This is so pretty. This bag is called the T-Monogram Jacquard Shoulder Bag. Actually, meron siya kasamang strap. It actually comes with three color, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's the hazelnut or the color brown, uh, tory navy or this color blue navy here, and then the goldfinch, which is the color yellow. And I chose this one because when I first saw this on the Instagram account, the first thing that came into my mind is the Christian Dior Montaigne 30. <laughs> I know it's not the same, but they have the resemblances because of the pattern here the monogram pattern here and the color is quite the same right but yeah of course we cannot compare this with christian Dior. christian Dior is christian Dior. but yeah i never had a tory birch actually before so this is my first handbag from them so we will see if i will be a fan of tory or not very and here it comes with a enclosure mag actually magnetic ba to? yeah it comes with a magnetic enclosure tapos uh, wala na siyang pins dito very easy to open and then inside well of course the strap look at this strap this strap is very thick two way color i think pwede mo siyang gamitin um magkaiba ng color the navy blue and the burgundy color so it's quite reversible and then Look at this. Meron siyang logo ni Tory Burch. Yan, on both sides. Tapos yung hardware niya, it looks gold. I don't think this is brass, pero feeling ko brass siya, pero shiny brass na hardware. Pero yan. Yan siya. And then, here is, ay tanggalin ko yung mga paper. Yep. Look at this. Yeah. Inside is actually a leather. Leather lining and this one is micro suede. So it's a combination of leather and micro suede inside. It has a slit pocket. One over here and then meron pa dito another slit pocket. Tapos sa gitna, meron siyang zipper and closure. Wow! This is actually a big bag na. If you can see, yan. Very structured. The bag is quite structured. I love it. It's the can... Uh, what do you call this? It's a fabric canvas. And I really love the pattern of the Tory Burch. I think this is one of the first bag na ginawa nila na they printed the, uh, the monogram prints kasi usually parang more of a leather, plain leather lang yung design ni Tory Burch na nakikita ko before. But I think this is actually a good bag design kasi nga it's very cute oh. And then on the side look at this. This is actually suede or micro suede. Yan. So it's a combination of fabric, leather, and micro suede which is very cute I think. And look at this uh, stitching pattern. Oh my gosh, ang linis. Yan, kung nakikita nyo, ang linis ng pagkakastitch niya. 
which is one of the things to consider when buying a handbag is yung the way they stitch it. Yan, sobrang ganda. Oh my gosh. Mayroon pa siya nito. And here, actually, may logo din siya ni Tori Birch. Another one here. So, it's actually very plain, structured. I think it's functional and versatile bag. So, yeah. So, let's go with the measurement of the bag. Here, I have the tape measure with me. So, the length of the bag is measured as 27 centimeters. While the height, if measured from here, it is 18 centimeters. But if we will start from here, it measured 17 centimeters. And with the depth, sa pinaka upper part of the depth is 5.5 centimeters. On the middle, it's 7.5 centimeters. And on the lower, uh, and on the lowest part is 9 centimeters. And then if we're going to put the strap of the bag, this bag is actually the, uh, adjustable. You just have to slide the buckle here for you to adjust it on the length that you want to achieve. So if we're going to measure the longest adjustment it can do or it have, is it will measure it as here to here is... 47 centimeters it will be measured as 47 centimeters meanwhile if you want to know the shortest length naman of the shoulder strap this is measured as the shoulder drop niya is measured as 32 centimeters if you're curious what fits inside the bag actually i think it can quite fit a lot because of the compartments and also it has two slip pockets here and this is quite a big bag actually for me compared to my daily mini bags that I am using recently so these are extra essentials for a daily basis so we have the compact toilet my car keys and house key um, airpods Alcohol. This ask alcohol is cute, diba? Very slick. And then we have here my makeup pouch, which holds my powder, my lip balm, my mini lipstick, my lip primer, and my hand cream. Basically, yan lang naman yung dinadala ko for makeup. Minsan, lipstick lang. And then, we have my mini ball pen here. Um, power bank. You can just slide it here. Face mask. Since meron to. Oh, this is, this fit perfectly. Look at this. Oh, ha. Huh? And then, my cell phone. Of course, it will fit iPhone XX Max or maybe iPhone 12 Pro Max because this is quite a big big bag. Look at this. Oh, you have another space pa. And then my perfume. Yeah. Over here. And my wet wipes. Over here. Tapos my scrunchie. Let's see if this bag will close perfectly. Yeah. Oh, diba? This bag is quite structured bag. Yeah, no. Hindi siya mabilis mag, mag, mag upi here. So, yeah. But, if you're going to try to add this, ipat natin to here. I'm not sure if this bag will close kasi Palki na siya over here on top. So, let's try. Yan. Ganto lang siya. Pero if we will push through it. The bag can actually close. But I don't want my bag to get over stuff. Kasi this is a structured bag. And I don't want to lose its shape. 
So, I will just take out this kasi I don't quite use this naman. Pero if tanggalin natin yung pouch niya, and then we will just put it here like this. The pack closed perfectly. Yeah. And if you're curious if a water bottle will fit inside, this will fit, but you have to take out some essentials. For example, um, I will just put on the things that I really need for my everyday use on a daily basis, which is, I will take out the makeup pouch and I will take this one and replace my my compact wallet with the card holder and card holder and then this one wet wipes car keys earpods alcohol um, my perfume this gold pen my lip balm my hand lotion and this mini lipstick yeah, actually, these are the things that I needed lang naman. So, it can quite fit here. And then, here. Yeah, the water bottle fits in. And then, look how it closed perfectly. Yeah. You just have to be careful lang kasi if you put a lot of stuff, your bag will be heavy. And I don't want to carry heavy bags during the day. So, yeah. I will just take this out. Take this one out. And this will be my daily essentials actually. So, this bag is quite big for me. Diba? Kasi I don't bring a lot of stuff naman with me. But yeah, that's it. And now for the mud shots or the modeling shots. For your reference, I am 5 foot tall again. And so if you're taller than me, you can just adjust the bag in the length that you wanted. But yeah, let's see how this fell, how this first land on my body. Yeah, I am wearing this on the shortest length na meron siya. So let's use this first as the main purpose of this bag is as a shoulder bag. Yan, ang ganda, di ba? Yan. Also, you can use it on the crook of your arm. Yan, just like this. Yan. And then, you can just hold it like this. I think maybe you can use it like this then. If you're lazy, if you're sometimes lazy, diba? Yeah, you can use it as like this. And then, you can of course use this as a crossbody bag. We will just adjust the strap. I will adjust it to the uh, longest setting it has. So, yan. Oh, diba? I like it kasi kahit nasa longest setting na siya. It falls on my hips pa din, not on my legs. So, yan. If curious ka din, how it looks if I use the reverse color of the bag, which is the burgundy or maroon. I don't know, I'm not sure. But it looks more of the burgundy color. It looks like this. <laughs> and then, if you want to be playful with your bag, you can always replace the strap here. I have this cute strap. This is a faux fur, 
Yan, gold din yung hardware niya or color brass para lang magka-partner sila. And then here. Yan, you have another look of the Pagnar already. So yan, if you wear it as a crossbody. Yan. And then as a shoulder bag. Oh, diba? Or if you don't like these pearls naman, you can just put another chain na meron ka or kung anong trip mo na chain. Here I have this tin na chain, golden chain siya. So, you hook mo lang siya dyan. And then on the other side. And then here. Yeah. But this one is very long na. And I don't prefer this length of the bag kasi I'm already short. And I think this made me short, look shorter pa. Yeah. But if you just want to have another look of the bag, yeah, you can just try this one. Or maybe... Yeah. And a shoulder bag. Well, just to give you some final thoughts about this handbag, I'm quite surprised about this because again, this is my first ever Tory Burch handbag. And yeah, I'm really surprised because look at this very beautiful canvas print niya here with the leather, with the micro suede, and the stitching. I really love the stitching. And then it comes with the gold hardware or brass hardware or shiny hardware. It really complements the color of the bag. Look at this. And then inside is leather lining with a little of micro suede here. This is a very big and functional bag for your daily use. You can actually consider this bag as your daily handbag because you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can even wear it with shorts, with skirt, with pants, with trousers, with dress, or with any fashion that you want or you're in the mood with. And then you can always be playful with your handbag by just replacing the straps of it. Diba? I think the only thing that I don't like about this bag is it's a little heavy and I don't like carrying heavy bags so I might as well put a little items like this, put a little essentials lang so I can just nail it outside and yeah, swing it outside. So that's it for today's vlog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and write down your comments or suggestions or opinions about this handbag. And please consider on subscribing to my YouTube channel and click the bell button below if you're interested with unboxing videos, a little reviews videos, and some basic Mandarin language, the basic ones, and some random stuff. I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys, take care always. Mwah.